Long ago, before the shaping of Azeroth, the Titans traversed the great dark beyond, shaping planets and searching for more of their kind. When demons began to spill into the great dark from the Twisting Nether, the Titan Sargeras was tasked with defending the worlds touched by the Pantheon. As the eons passed, Sargeras discovered that killing the demons was a futile effort. Their souls returned to the Nether to recover and emerge once more. Another Titan, Agrimar, was assigned to become Sargeras' lieutenant, and as he became skilled enough to fight the demons himself, Sargeras studied the Twisting Nether. He learned how to manipulate the energies of the Nether, and eventually succeeded in creating a pocket dimension within the Nether. He would call that pocket dimension Mardum, the Plane of Banishment, and it was here that the two titans began to imprison the demons they fought. Mardum would eventually become saturated with demons, their fell energies overflowing. The volatile energies created tears between the Great Dark and the Twisting Nether, and soon the prison world would be seen from the far reaches of the Great Dark as a massive, verdant star. As time passed, the threat the demons posed to the universe lessened, Mardum serving its role effectively. And then another threat emerged, greater than even the demons of the Twisting Nether. Outside the realm of the physical world, light and shadow reside in their purest forms. Within the shadow, also called the Void, exist monstrous beings of energy beyond mortal comprehension. These beings observed the physical realm, seeking to twist it to their own purposes. They discovered the Titans and began to enact a plan to corrupt one of their kind. They released the old gods into the universe, physical manifestations of shadow, with the goal of finding a slumbering Titan to bend to their will. Alone, Sargeras stumbled upon a world corrupted by old gods. He discovered, to his horror, that a world soul slept at the planet's core, a titan waiting to be born. Torturing Nazathrim found basking in the old god's radiance, Sargeras learned of the extent of the Void Lord's plans. The terror of a titan corrupted by the Void was so great, Sargeras made a fateful decision. He cleaved the world in two, killing both the old gods and the slumbering world soul. Soon after, the Pantheon convened, and Sargeras confronted his peers with the threat the Void Lords posed. The rest of the Titans turned their backs on Sargeras, unable to condone the murder of a world soul, and directly opposed to Sargeras's plan of action. To Sargeras, the most effective way to rid the universe of the Void Lord's corruption was to systematically bring about the extinction of all life in the universe, and hope that new life, free of corruption, would arise once more. When the Pantheon refused Sargeras's plan, the Titan warrior left, frustrated, to go meditate on the problem at hand. As Sargeras meditated, it became more and more obvious that the only way to save the universe was to purge it. To this end, he needed an army, unstoppable and endless and seething with rage for the physical realm. There was only one place Sargeras knew to find such a force, Mardum. Sargeras traveled to Mardum and found the dimension a seething nightmare of fell energy. He took his creation and tore it asunder. The resulting explosion would change the Titan forever, infusing him with the volatile fell energies he had opposed for so long. Demons poured out of the rift created between dimensions, and waiting for them was Sargeras. He infused the demons with his own power and gave them an ultimatum. Serve him or be destroyed forever for Sargeras had learned the secret to extinguishing the spirit of a demon for good. Thus, Mardum was transformed from a prison to the birthplace of the Burning Legion. The remains of Mardum, the Shattered Abyss, would be a bastion of Legion power for many ages. It was here that Sargeras left his Sargerite Keystone, in the care of Brood Queen Tyranna. The Keystone serves as a key to any number of Legion-controlled worlds, a powerful tool for the Legion and for any seeking the Legion's demise. And thus, it was stolen. When the combined forces of the Shatar assaulted the Black Temple, Illidan Stormrage sent his Illidari through a portal to Mardum with the intent of taking the Keystone for himself. The Keystone, he says, is instrumental in his plan to destroy the Legion once and for all. As soon as the Demon Hunters arrive on Mardum, they clash with the countless demons they call the Shattered Plane home. Their first objective, open the way for reinforcements. 
The leader of the Demon Hunters ensures the activation of three large Legion gateways, allowing Ash Tongue Broken, Coil Scar Naga, and Shivara to enter Mardoom. With the help of the reinforcements, the Demon Hunters are able to press their advantage, establishing a foothold at the base of the Shard's Great Fell Volcano. They confront Doom Commander Beliash before he can summon his own reinforcements to assail the Demon Hunters, and counter a large number of other demonic threats to their mission, including several demonic species unfamiliar to the forces of Azeroth. The Demon Hunters steal Legion secrets from an Imp Mother to empower their forces, and find that though some Demon Hunters can handle the Volatile Fell, others succumb to its power, driving home the danger of absorbing more Fell than you can handle. The Demon Hunters and their Illidari allies soon beat back the demonic forces, enough to give them an opening to assault the Fellhammer, the flying fortress of Brood Queen Tyranna. They fly top captured Fellbats, and there, they confront and kill Tyranna. They take the Sargerite Keystone, and use it to open a path back to Outland, at the top of the Black Temple. Maiev is waiting for the Demon Hunter's return, having defeated Illidan with the help of the Shatar. She imprisons the Demon Hunters, taking them to the Vault of the Wardens, on the west edge of the Broken Isles on Azeroth. There, they are trapped for many years, and the Sargerite Keystone is kept hidden. Years later, the Legion's third and most explosive invasion rocks the face of Azeroth. Gul'dan, arriving on Azeroth from another timeline, breaks into the Vault of the Wardens, using the power of his newly corrupted ally, Cordana Felsong. Amongst the chaos of a demonic attack, the two are able to find the body of Illidan Stormrage and take it for the Legion's plans. The captured Illidari are awoken to help fend off the demon invaders, and help quell the various threats that have escaped their prisons. They are unable to stop Gul'dan and Cordana before they escape, and instead focus on breaking free of the Vault themselves. Two of the released demon hunters, Cain Sunfury and Altruist the Sufferer, cannot see eye to eye. Cain believes in Illidan's leadership, whereas Altruist betrayed the Illidari many years ago, believing that Illidan had become as corrupt as the demons he fought. He killed a number of his brethren before retreating to Nagran to help fight the Legion in his own way, and eventually became imprisoned in the vault. The leader of the Demon Hunters is forced to choose a lieutenant from the two bickering Demon Hunters, before surfacing from the vault and meeting Khadgar. Khadgar beseeches the Demon Hunter to assist in the fight against the Legion, and ports them away from the Broken Isles. During the Demon Hunter's imprisonment, the remaining Illidari forces left stranded on Mardoom find a way to secure the Fellhammer, and eventually open the way for the Demon Hunters to return to Mardoom. The Demon Hunters and the rest of the Illidari use the Fellhammer as a base of operations in their war with the Legion, remaining above the shattered remains of Mardoom. Some time later, the Illidari and the Wardens form a temporary alliance, in exchange for the Demon Hunter's help in quelling some of the more dangerous threats released from the Vault, the Wardens promise to assist in locating the Sargerite Keystone. The Keystone is eventually found to be in the hands of Cordana Felsong, in the depths of the Vault, and after her demise, the Keystone is returned to Mardoom, where it is safely held aboard the Fellhammer, its original home. Once an impregnable prison, Mardoom became a shattered bastion for the Legion's activities. It provided Sargeras with the seeds of his demonic army, and now is a realm overflowing in fell energies and legion secrets. Only in recent times has it been discovered and infiltrated, its queen demon falling to the might of the demon hunters. Now, aboard the legion's dimensional ship, the Fellhammer, high above one of Mardoom's shards, the demon hunters begin their campaign against the legion's invasion of Azeroth.